In this video, we will learn how to create custom art brushes in Adobe Illustrator. This technique was done using version 2022 but can be applied to most previous versions in Creative Cloud. Knowing how to create your own brushes is really helpful especially when drawing and if you want to vary the width of a stroke or a line. Remember, you can change the playback speed of the video in the gear located in the bottom right corner of the video window. This is useful if you feel that it is going too fast or too slow. To get started, select some shape creating tool. In our example, we will make a circle using the ellipse tool and, while holding down the shift key, click and drag. The size of the circle makes no difference because Illustrator is based on vectors. If you want to know the difference between vectors and raster graphics, click on the card or the description. Leave the fill in black and the stroke as transparent. Now, using the direct selection tool, which we can access with the hotkey A, we will find this anchor point on the extreme left and drag it out that way. Once we have done this, we will open our brush palette on the right and we can either drag directly the selection of all the shapes we would like our new brush to be, which in this case is just one, but could be several small circles for a hairbrush for example, and then drop it inside this brush's window. Or, keeping all artwork selected, click on that little plus symbol in the brush's window. Notice that it says new brush. In the selection box, choose Art Brush and then click OK. You will have access to a whole set of options, and you can give it a name if you'd like. In this case, we will leave everything at the default, but we need to make sure to change the method to Tint. This means that we will be able to use this same brush in the future for a color that is different from black. We are creating using the color black, but we can easily use it for blue, pink, green, any color we choose. Click OK and then we can delete the shape that we used in creating the brush and start painting. Make sure that your new brush is selected here in the brush palette. Notice that it is following the shape we used in the creation, from thinner to thicker. We can use this same method to create different brush shapes. Some people create brushes for social network icons, for example like buttons or the little heart to have easy access to them and even logos that are used a lot on their works. I will demonstrate now if you wanted to create one with several shapes as a base. In my example, it will look horrible, but I am sure you will pay more attention to this step and make beautiful creations. I will put three stars here and unite them with the Pathfinder tool. We will select everything and click Unite. Drag the shape into the window and click Art Brush. Here is something interesting that I forgot to mention. You can vary the orientation of your brush. It's pretty self-explanatory, and also, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials made to help you unlock your creativity.